Today we're going to discuss relative frequency distributions. Uh, in a previous video, we discussed frequency distributions. We discussed uh, taking a set of data and packaging it in a frequency distribution so that it would be easier to read, easier to interpret. Uh, today we're going to discuss relative frequency distributions. Uh, so a relative frequency distribution tells you where a value or where a, a class stands relative to the rest of the data. Uh, so for example, uh, my daughter recently had some blood work done. Uh, the doctor told me her white blood cell count and my first thought, my first question was, okay, well, how does that stand relative to everyone else that gets their blood tested. Is this a high blood cell count? Is this a low blood cell count? Is this an average uh, white blood cell count? Uh, where does it stand relative to everyone else? Uh, so, the, you know, the number by itself didn't really tell me very much. So, similarly here, if I tell you that there are six values between 13 and 15 in this data set, uh, you would probably wonder, well, is six a lot? Is that a large class? Is, is six few? Is that just a, a few people? You know, if you're looking at a data set of eight and uh, six members are in the class, in a class, then that's a, that's a very high percentage. If you're looking at a data set of 10,000 and there are six values in a class, that would be relatively small, very small. So uh, relative frequency distributions look at percentages. So let's actually start by talking about the total. So there are uh, 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 5 total values in this data set. So that would be 23 total values. Uh, this number can be helpful. Uh, it could be kind of a sanity check. You can come up here and count 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 23. You could count the number of values in your data set and then count the total uh, in the frequency column and this number and the number you get here should match up. It's a good way to make sure you didn't drop a value somewhere. But we're going to need this fraction. So here we're going to look at 5 over 23, which is approximately, I would use an approximately symbol here, but I don't easily have one available, the approximately uh, 0 0.217 or 21.7% of my data uh, is in this first class. For the second class, I'm looking at 6 over 23, which would be around uh, 0.261, so about 21 point, about 26.1% of the data is in the second class. The third would be 7 over 23, as you can see here, that is my largest class, most populated class. That would be 0.304 or 30.4%. And then we would have 5 over 23, which would be 0.217 again. Uh, there is a little bit of rounding error here because I, I did round to the third decimal place. Uh, but you can once again add up your relative frequency here, 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 and here, and it should come up to 1 for 100%. And that's a good sanity check that you haven't uh, perhaps entered something wrong into your calculator. So this is a relative frequency distribution.